more protests and more defiance. Iranians took to the streets once again, despite warnings that the authorities would respond with an iron fist. Today, this was how police tried to control the crowd in Tehran. While what sounded like gunshots rang out in a city in western Iran. The government has moved to stop the world from seeing what's happening in Iran. Two popular digital platforms are now blocked. The messaging app Telegram, which protesters were using to organize rallies, and the photo-sharing service Instagram, home to many videos documenting the unrest. The Iranian security authorities, they see, they take notice, and they're worried that these platforms can be used to, uh, to bring more people on the street. There is now confirmation that two protesters were killed overnight in the western Iranian city of Darud. This provincial official denied that the police fired any shots, instead blaming the deaths on foreign powers. This all began last Thursday, with Iranians demonstrating against poor economic conditions and high prices. But it spread to cities across the country in protests that turned political and saw some call for the death of Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei. Tonight, Iran's president went on television in his first statement since the protests began. We are a free nation, Hassan Rouhani says. People are completely free to protest. But he urged them to do so without violence. While Rouhani admitted there are worries over the economy and corruption, the president's speech is unlikely to quell the protest movement, now the most significant threat to Iran's government in nearly a decade. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Tel Aviv.